as I was expecting that. You ready? Yeah. Just, um, taking it all in. Welcome to downtown Halabadoo. The last known resting place, the Tusk of Ganesh. Spectacular. <sighs> hmm. What? Doesn't it look like there's a dam or something between the two Ganesh statues? Must have been eroded by the falls. So how do we get in? Hang on. Yeah. Look at the crown. It's not wear and tear. You're right. Maybe it was a watchtower. Bet that's how the Persians got in. I have heard about this place for so long. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually looking at it. You should take a picture. Send it to your dad. <laughs> Great idea. What? You're one of those cultures who can't work a computer? Just take the picture. Show it to him in person then. No, it's uh, just a few decades too late for that. Look, I'm... Oh. Oh, God, please, no. That's fine. <laughs> Shall we, uh, head over to Halibadoo? Imagine what it took to make this. Craftsmen, the engineers. Yeah. Their work still stands. But they're gone. Maybe their king should have used their wealth to protect his people and not make such an inviting target. the stairs down. What's left of them, anyway? Any thoughts how we get up to the crown? Did you bring the helicopter? I left it at home. Bum. Then I guess we're climbing. way up. Up 
Up here. Coming. <laughs> Come on, this way. You sure it's safe? You know, you keep asking me that. It'll save us both some time if you just assume it's not. <laughs> oh, oh, it's oh. Oh. oh, boy. It's definitely not safe, by the way. I saw. Think you can get back up here? Yeah. Keep going. I'll catch up. Because you said please. I didn't actually. I thought you said Ganesh was the removal of obstacles. He's more than happy to place them in your way if he you thinks you'll benefit. That why the horse and I chose him for Halibadu? He's also the Lord of Good Fortune, the one you pray to for prosperity and success. Got it. That's cool. Is this really the only way of horse? Yep. Having fun out there? You know it. Doing great, China. Thanks. I'll be doing better when we get to the Kran. Surprised we haven't seen Sarb yet. Not on wood. Oh, he's around. I doubt we'll see him up here. Why is that? He doesn't have the stones to climb this high. <laughs> I see a place we can swing over to the crown. Just a little. Huh? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, thank you. Hurry up and climb. I'm slipping. get off this thing. Okay. Easy does it. All right. There's more sturdy up here. Don't jinx us. Here's our way in, courtesy of the Persian army. Wow, nice shot. Persians must have had a trebuchet. Trebuchet? Can't you just say catapult like a normal person? A trebuchet is a type of catapult. It can handle heavier projectiles, like this one, and fling them longer distances. Right. You learned that in your military training? I looked it up on Wikipedia. Like a normal person. Thank you. 
Ready? After you. <laughs> Incredible. It's our old friends, Harasharama and Ganesh. Well, when the Hindu gods aren't off fighting demons, they're sometimes fighting each other. I guess it's not really his style. Out of the mountain? Sure looks like it. Through here. Right behind you. Hey, look. Armaments. You were right, Nadine. I have armaments. This whole Persian? Ah, uh, looks to be a mix of Persian and Hoysala. First line of defense. Getting somewhere. Hey, another one of these doors. Now let's see. Oh, good. This one actually works. There we go. Nice to get some light. Feels like a crypt in here. Crypts and burials aren't really a Hindu thing. They generally favor cremation. It's a beautiful ceremony, Antiyishti, Sanskrit for last sacrifice. Sacrifice? The idea is our bodies are merely borrowed vehicles and you're returning it so that others might benefit. It's a lovely sentiment. Too late for these poor bastards. Hey, up here. Hell. Jesus. This was it. Their final stand. Oh, wasn't enough to save their empire. But their loss is our gain. Here's our way in. Nadine, can you lend a hand with this chap? Sure. Come on, old fella. There we go. Excuse me. Sorry. We must be getting close. Hopefully closer than these guys. Device looks familiar. Let's hope it doesn't turn on the water in here. If I had a guess, I'd say it's some kind of lock mechanism to open that door. Okay, on the left, we have Shiva gifting Parashurama the axe. And on the right, we have Parashurama chopping off Ganesha's tusk. Wait, with the axe? Yeah. The one that Shiva, Ganesha's father, gave to Parashurama? Yeah. 
<laughs> it's messed up. That's family. Come on, let's see about opening that door. So how does all this work? Uh, only one way to find out. Let's see what this does. Alright, that slid the piece away from me. It's got a mission. Let's try this. Over you go. I see what's happening. The shadows reach the moon. Right. So let's see if I can line them all up. This actually looks like fun. Salah and the Tiger. Here we go. Fingers crossed. That's supposed to happen? I don't know. Just don't get us killed. You're no fun. Ready? Ooh. Careful. Hmm. Amazing. What a shaver. Mm, my thoughts exactly. None of this makes any sense. Yeah, it does. The Hoysala sent us on a fool's errand. I think you're right. Terrific. No, hear me out. Ganesh is the symbol of... Halabadu. And Shiva was the symbol of... Belor. Which was the old... The old capital. Exactly. What if the king built this spectacular city, and it was a wonderful target for the Persians? And the old capital was forgotten. So this whole city was a decoy. What if they let it get plundered, to protect Balor? And their treasure. I'm willing to bet the Tusk was never here at all. So where's Balor? This is definitely not supposed to happen. It's coming loose! Uh, Grab the edge, quick! Razor! Uh, 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 I'm okay! Go! Hey, 
Nice work, partner. Nice work. Put it there. Jesus! <laughs> what was that? That's awful. I'm really embarrassed for you right now. <laughs> hey. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... Wasn't there a huge waterfall here? There was. What the hell is that? Aqueducts. The water's channeling there from the falls. Amazing. Did we do this just now? Well, technically I did. Cocky. <laughs> Look, uh, sorry if I cut too close to the bone back there. You know, you two would have got on like a house on fire. He was also a really stubborn dickhead. <laughs> you know, none of this could have possibly gone unnoticed. We should probably get out of here. Good point. Follow me, All right? Oh. The water is being channeled toward the gate, so let's follow the aqueduct. Copy that. I'll take point. So they flooded their city to protect their secrets. You think the soldiers knew they were being used as decoys? Honesty is not always the best policy. That's true. You need your people behind you 100%. So you think Asal's keeping his men in the dark? Uh, undoubtedly. Look at this. Making progress, no? Maybe. But check out this watch. Took it from that old man in the city. Dumb bastard. Right. Didn't give it up easily. You take left. I take right. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> What the? Yeah. That works too. Nice job. Probably more where that came from. Right. I love you. <gasps> Nothing personal. There. I'll bet the aqueduct's rooted through that structure. I doubt we're free and clear. Keep an eye out.
We're not in the line of fire. Is that thing carved on the floor? What do you suppose it is? Nothing good. See those channels? Doubt they were meant for water. Oh. Up here. Think there's a way through. <laughs> Poor bastards. Don't know. I'd prefer being left to rot in a cell to getting tortured. Duly noted. Now, how the hell do we get out? Hear that? I do. Yep, there's the aqueduct. Up here, there's a breach. Shiva. That's impressive. My man worked for a week and turned up nothing. They probably hired the wrong expert. Perhaps. You know. A Hoysala poet once wrote of a young king who showed mercy and thus ended our rituals. But the old kings, they understood that progress demands sacrifice. <laughs> Is that what you tell your men? of war, these aqueducts, they would run red through the capital. Those who would not fight had to be used to inspire those who would. Let's make this quick. Swing in the mist. Proud of yourself? A little, yeah. Come on. You see, to rule a people, you 
must first sow chaos. Wait. I will incite my civil war, stamp out the weak bloodline of the young king, starting with you. Take it easy. You've been out for almost half an hour. Half an hour? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> shit, the Sarv's got the disc. Just hang on. Oh, we gotta get going. Hey, <sighs> relax, all right? Think you can manage? Yeah, I've had worse nights, believe me. <laughs> I won't ask. <laughs> it's good to have you back. There's... There's two of you now, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's go and get our disc. And some guns. And some guns. <sighs> uh, can I just say, you were not joking about Asav. I mean, wow, he looks so unassuming. Right? That's exactly what he wants. Pretty sure his glasses are an affectation. To make him look harmless or smart? Both. <laughs> but he is smart. Was a doctor before he took up his course. So he left behind a lucrative career. I'm sure at one point he thought it was the right thing to do. Hey, you sure you're good to go? As good as I'll ever be. Just need to take it easy for a bit. Up here. Go slow. <laughs> the gate. We made it. Let's get that thing open. <laughs> 